Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Olga. I love to crochet and here on my channel I share crochet video tutorials every week. I've done so many scarf patterns on my channel and most of them are lacy scarves but I do get a lot of comments from my viewers asking for a pattern for a scarf that would be suitable for men. And this could be it. You probably would want to choose a different color for your scarf if you're making it for men but nowadays even pink is becoming acceptable color for men. Well, you can make it in any color you want. This scarf looks like it was knitted, doesn't it? But no, it is crochet. And this pattern is both simple and complicated. It is simple because all you do here is making single crochets, but it is complicated because you will need to insert your hook in a specific way, which can be uncomfortable and will require some practice. This is the yarn that I used to make my scarf. It's 100% superwash wool, valley yarns. And I will work with two hooks, size J, six millimeters, and size I, 5.5 millimeters. There is no multiple for the starting chain. You can start with any amount of chains you want. This scarf is crocheted along the length of the scarf, which means that the length of your starting chain will determine the length of your finished scarf. For my scarf over here, I started with 171 chains and in my first row I had 170 single crochets. And my scarf turned out 48 inches long. And by the way, I used three skeins of the yarn that I showed you and my scarf is 48 inches long and 5 inches wide. So it's a small size scarf, but you can easily make your scarf any size you want. To demonstrate this stitch, I will make a sample and I will start with 21 chains. And I'm using the larger size hook, size J, 6 millimeters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, here I have 21 chains and I'm ready to start my first row, which is very simple. It's a row of single crochets. So into the second chain from the hook, I'll make a single crochet. We never count the chain on the hook. We we'll always start counting from the next one. One, two, and over here I make a single crochet. And then I simply make a single crochet into each chain across. Just the usual single crochet. Here I completed my first row. I have 20 single crochets in this row. I turn and now I will switch the hook to the smaller size which is 5.5 millimeters. In the beginning of the row I make one chain and now I will also make single crochets but I will insert my hook in a very special way. And here, let me show you, under this loop over here, then under this loop over here, then under the loop over here. That's where I will be working my single crochets. So here I insert it like this. And I complete single crochet. Now over here, this is the loop. Usually, to make a regular single crochet, I would insert the hook over here under these two loops on the top. But in this pattern, I insert the hook under this loop. And it is a bit uncomfortable, like this. And then I finish single crochet again under this loop like that and I finish the single crochet and that's basically how I crochet this row and then on the back side I begin to get this row that looks like as if it's needed and I continue crocheting like this all the way across and I must say it does move slowly so this scarf will take some while to make 
here I completed the first row, but the last one I'm going to make slightly different. So this is the loop of the last single crochet right here, but I will also grab this loop on the top as well. That will give me a nice edge over here. So I insert the hook under this loop the way I did before, but also under this loop on the top. And then I finish my single crochet. And this is the first row. I turn my work, I start with one chain and I continue crocheting the way I did my second row. So over here, that's where I insert the hook and make a single crochet right here and so on. And this is basically it. This is how this pattern works. You only make single crochets, but you make them in a very specific way. And at the end of the row, again, I'm grabbing this loop and also the one on the top so that I can have a nice edge on the side. And that's how this pattern goes. That's all that you need to do is repeat that row of single crochets. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this tutorial will be useful to you. Please let me know in the comments below what kind of other crochet projects you would like to see on my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.